Fluttershy. <laughs> Fluttershy, what happened to you? Oh, I... I think I have <laughs> the pony pox. I'm sorry. I really, really wanted to come to training day today. <laughs> but this pony pox has really knocked me for a loop. Achoo! <laughs> oh, you poor thing. You know, there's only one cure for pony pox. I know. Plenty of beds. <laughs> Cold water! Those pony pops are clearing right up. You know, all of a sudden I'm, I'm starting to feel better. I, I'll just get out of these robes and... Ow! Oh, my wing. Oh, ow, it's hurt. I guess I can't fly after it. <laughs> Messed up wing, huh? Stop horsing around, Fluttershy. We've got a lot of training to do. Come on now. What's going on? Well, you see, uh, well... Oh, Rainbow Dash, I just can't do it. I can't fly. What are you talking about? Just last week, you went into that wicked nosedive to save that falling baby bird right before it hit the ground. But that was different. That was an emergency. Oh, this whole tornado thing, it's more like a performance. And you know how I hate performing in front of others. Don't you remember flight camp? I couldn't gallop hard or fly fast. No, with every pony looking at me. It wasn't that bad. You're right, Rainbow Dash. It wasn't bad. It was horrible! All the other things used to tease me. A lot! Fluttershy! 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 Can't hardly touch! Fluttershy! I just can't risk that sort of humiliation again. Suck it up, Fluttershy! This is no time for... I mean... Confidence or no confidence, I'm gonna need every Pegasus to break the record, including you. I need every ounce of wing power I can get. Oh, I don't think so, Rainbow Dash. <sighs> Thanks anyway. Wait. I'll do it. You will? I will. You're game? I'm game. All right! What exactly does this machine do? This is an anemometer. It measures your accelerative velocity and translates it into wing power, thus gauging your cumulative H2O anti-gravitational potential. Any other questions? Yeah. What exactly does this machine do? It tells you how fast you're flying and how strong your wings are. Oh. Oh, oh. okay, yes. Yeah. Yeah. You can yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> is that you again, Thunderlane? Please, we need to have a germ-free environment. It wasn't me, it was Blossom Force. Don't worry, Twilight. Thunderlane's just cooking up an excuse to spend Tornado Day in bed. Why don't you get over here and be our first test flyer, Thunderlane? <coughs> we have 9.3 wing power. Wow, that's fast! Yeah! Not bad, not bad. Thank you 
so much. Now if you could just give her to me. Nope. About. They're fighting over that doll. That incredible, amazing doll. Get, get a clear shot. Give me. Y'all hear that? What in the name of all things oats and apples is going on here? Don't look at it! Don't look at what? My Smarty Pants doll. I enchanted her and now every pony is fighting over her. Why would you enchant your doll? Oh, I had to do something. I had nothing to report to Princess Celestia. I thought if I couldn't find a problem, I'd make a problem. The day is almost over. Not almost. Twilight Sparkle. Well, nearly. The library. Goodbye, girls. If you care to visit, I'll be in Magic Kindergarten back in Canterlot. Magic Kindergarten? Canterlot? We're never gonna see Twilight again! Uh, what are we gonna do, y'all? Of all the worst things that could happen, this is the worst possible thing! <laughs> What? I really mean it this time. Uh, but I'm supposed to send you a letter about friendship every week. I missed the deadline. I'm a bad student. I'm tardy. You are a wonderful student, Twilight. I don't have to get a letter every week to know that. Really? Wait! You can't punish her! It wasn't her fault. I'm listening. Please, Your Highness, we all saw that Twilight was upset. But we thought that the thing that she was worrying about wasn't worth worrying about. Of Nightmare Moon, who makes you wary? <gasps> Every year, we put on a disguise to save ourselves from her searching eyes. <laughs> but Nightmare Moon wants just one thing, to gobble up ponies in one quick swing. <laughs> Hungrily, she soars the sky. If she sees no pony, she passes by. So if she comes and all is clear, Equestria is safe another year. Oh, uh, Miss Sakura, if we wear costumes to hide from Nightmare Moon so she won't gobble us up, how come we still need to give her some of our candy? A perfect question, my little friend. For Nightmare Moon, you must not offend. Fill up her belly with a treat or two, so she won't return to come eat you!
have graced your tiny village with our presence so that you might behold the real princess of the night. A creature of nightmares no longer, but instead a pony who desires your love and admiration. Together we shall change this dreadful celebration into a bright and glorious feast. Did you hear that, everybody? Nightmare Moon says she's going to feast on us all. What? No, children, no. You no longer have reason to fear us. Screams of delight is what your princess desires, not screams of terror. <laughs> Madam Mayor, thy princess of the night hath arrived. <laughs> What is the matter with you? Very well, then. Be that way. We won't even bother with the traditional royal farewell. I'm gonna go talk to her. Ugh, you can't talk to her. She's Nightmare Moon. No, she's not. I saw the elements of harmony change her back to good. But it seems like she's having some trouble adjusting after being gone for a thousand years. Princess Luna? Hi, my name is... Star Swirl the Bearded. Commendable costume. Now we even got the bells right. Thank you, finally! Some pony who gets my costume! Uh, I just came to welcome you to our celebration. My actual name is... Twilight Sparkle. It was thou who unleashed the powers of harmony upon us and took away our dark powers! Civil, you know, bad mannered. Bah. Exactly. Sweetie Belle, just give Rarity some time. She'll come around. Sisters always do. Not sisters like Rarity. Come on now. Apple Bloom and I got some chores to finish up on. Maybe you can help. You sure you want me to help? I just mess everything up. Oh, come on. That's just stinking thinking. Watch. <laughs> Oh. No, 
<laughs> Good catch there, Apple Bloom. <laughs> the bruised apples, we gotta collect them all for the pig state. It's a lot of work, so we make a game of it. Wanna try? Um, okay. Ow! <laughs> You're right, it is hard work. That's why we do it together! <laughs> Weirdy never wants to do chores together. Ugh. All that work ruined! Thanks to Sweetie Belle. Oh my, it's usually a big mess in here. <gasps> Idea! This is genius! I shall call it Full Spectrum Fashions! Why, if Sweetie Belle hadn't. <clears throat> well, no matter. She still shouldn't have touched my things without permission. Hm. from Sugar Cube Corner will cheer you up. No, it won't. A party will cheer you up. No, it won't. A lovely new chapeau will cheer you up. No, it won't. Come on, Apple Bloom. It's just a cutie mark. Or lack of a cutie mark. Shh, that's not helping. that we have here. Why, it's Apple Bloom, my dear. Oh! What has happened to you, youth? Ah, you've gone and chipped your tooth. Come with me. I have just the trick that will fix you up quite quick. I tried everything, Decora, and still no cutie mark. Well, I'm gonna be as old as Granny Smith and still have a blank slate. Your frustration is well understood, but one must be patient for all things good. Oh, I've heard that from every pony I know, and now from every zebra I know. I'm just too impatient to be patient. I just want my cutie mark and I want it now! For your cutie mark, you will have to wait. We must fix that tooth before it's too late. Now, drink down every little drop, and this mixture will mend that chip on top. Yes, little one, it is true. I have many a healing brew. And not only stuff that fixes the bad, but stuff that brings the good. Good health, good hair, good heavens! Hmm. I bet you can mix up a brew to fix anything. There are many mixtures in this room, but none for what you want, dear Apple Bloom. A magic potion does not hold the key. For a cutie mark, time is the only remedy. Fine. What you got going on there? I am brewing up another mix for a rooster and his chicks. Seems the rooster has lost his crow, making mornings very slow. Hey, I've seen that flower blooming in Ponyville. What is it? It is one we call Heart's Desire. A dash will ignite the rooster's fire. With heart's desire, his talent comes into view, and he'll give a mighty cock a doo doo doo. Sowie! Heart's desire, huh? I mean, but what is this? I've run out of amethyst. I must go get this purple flower for my brew to have full power. Yeah, you go. 
you go. I say, that's one way to make an introduction. Oh, goodness. I am so sorry. I, I can see you there. I I've just got so many bags, and I was trying to get back to my suite at the castle, and... You're staying at the castle? Well, the, the princess invited me to stay in one of the suites. You know the princess? Hmm, a pony with expensive taste, I see. Oh, it's for an ensemble I'm making for a friend. Her birthday's in a few days. Again, I'm really sorry I bumped into you. I'm not. <laughs> you are obviously some pony worth bumping into. Listen, I have a VIP box reserved at the Wonder Bolts Derby this afternoon. Would you, would you be so kind as to join me and a few of my companions there? Me? But of course, my dear. Well, I, I'm, uh, uh, no, sure. We'd love to see you there. Uh, uh, Rarity. Rarity. Seeing the derby from a VIP box is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Con! Going to the derby cuts into the amount of time I have to finish Twilight's outfit. Pro! Fancy Pants is the most important pony in Canterlot. His stamp of approval could mean big things for me here. Con! Twilight's party might not be as sophisticated as the derby, but that doesn't mean I shouldn't put all of my energy into creating her birthday ensemble. My pony girl friends will appreciate my hard work more than any pony. I hate to let them down. I won't. Opal, I am going to the Wonderbolts Derby as a guest of Fancy Pants. He's sure to take home the grand prize. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't think he has a chance against Fleetfoot. No! <gasps> Rainbow Dash talks about her all the time. She says what Fleetfoot lacks in size, she makes up for in speed. And who is this Rainbow Dash? Uh... Why, she's... She's the, the Wonderbolts trainer, of course. Staying at Canterlot Castle, and she knows that Pegasus training the Wonderbolts. I told you all this was an important pony. Oh, oh, lovely. Lovely. Oh, really. Three cheers for Rarity, my new favorite party guest. What's happening to me, Twilight? I don't know. Think back to last night. Did something happen? Spike, what did you do after I saw you? Well, I went to talk to... Spike! Huh? You went to talk to who? Oh, um, I don't remember. Hey, can I have that globe? You're not using it, right? Huh? What about this book? Spike, I'm worried about you. You're usually not so... grabby. 
my arms aren't usually this long either. What's happening to me? Well, now, what seems to be the problem? This is Spike. And something's wrong with him. He used to be half this size, and he keeps trying to take things that aren't his. All right, then. Let's just have a look-see, shall we? Will guy not feeling too good? Who's the brave real boy? Huh? Who's the brave one? So, what do you think, Doctor? Well, I think I know what the problem is. He's a dragon! That's not the problem. He's always been a dragon. Oh. Well, that would explain it. Listen, I don't know anything about dragons. I know about baby ponies. Maybe you should try a vet. Uh, okay. Thank you, doctor. Hm. Well, I'm flummoxed. You bring me a dog, I've got it diagnosed in seconds. A snake even faster. But to be honest, I've never seen a real live dragon before. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Sit. Thanks, anyway. Come on, Spike. <laughs> Ooh, he is starting to mature. Of this fact, I am quite sure. Mature? So he's just growing up? But that doesn't explain why he keeps grabbing things. <laughs> A dragon's heart is prone to greed. A steady diet to make growth speed. Then, the resulting bigger size only makes their hunger rise. If this trait should go unchecked, if Spike continues to collect, more growth will certainly occur. He is going to turn into a monster. You mean, the more things a dragon collects, the bigger and greedier he gets? But how do we stop him before he's completely out of control? If his monstrous ways you wish to impede, you must prevent him from practicing greed. <laughs> Get away from her, you brown Spike, what? You're not getting my scooter! <laughs> Spike, what? Hey, Spike, check out this amazing broom. Come on, big boy. Look at this incredible room. Spike! A lot of ponies will come to watch us. A lot? Hundreds. Hundreds? <gasps> Maybe even thousands! <gasps> oh! My hair! Applejack, be a dear and shut those windows, will you? <sighs> Rainbow Dash! Rainbow Dash! <sighs> Thank you! Thank you! It's a reenactment of the founding of Equestria. It's not the Rainbow Dash show. Well, it should be the Rainbow Dash show. I'm the star. Fluttershy, you've got to come out of there. Curtain in two minutes. Twilight, let me handle this. My hair. Hey, yes! <laughs> the Heart Harmony pageant is about harmony and friendship. Shut the window! Once upon a time, long before the peaceful rule of Celestia, and before ponies discovered our beautiful land of Equestria, ponies did not know harmony. It was a strange and dark time, a time when ponies were torn apart by hatred. <gasps> I know, can you believe it? During this frightful age, each of the three tribes, the Pegasi, the Unicorns, and the Earth Ponies, cared not for what befell the other tribes, but only for their own welfare. In those troubled times, as now, 
The Pegasi were the stewards of the weather. But they demanded something in return. Food that could only be grown by the Earth Ponies. The Unicorns demanded the same. In return for magically bringing forth day and night. And so, mistrust between the tribes festered until one fateful day, it came to a boil. And what prompted the ponies to clash? It was a mysterious blizzard that overtook the land and toppled the tribe's precarious peace. The normally industrious earth ponies were unable to farm their land. The earth ponies were freezing. The home of the Pegasi fared no better. The Pegasi were hungry. And the unicorns were freezing and hungry. Even the unicorn's magic was powerless against the storm. Each tribe blamed the others for their suffering. And the angrier every pony grew, the worse the visit became. And so it was decided that a grand summit would be held to figure out a way to cope with the blizzard. Each tribe sent their leaders. Daughter of the Unicorn King, Princess Platinum. Ruler of the Pegasi, Commander Hurricane. And lastly, leader of the Earth Ponies, Chancellor Puddinghead. Perhaps the three tribes could finally settle their differences and agree on a way to get through this disaster. All I want to know is why the Earth Ponies are hogging all the food. <sighs> us? We're not hogging all the food, you are! Oh wait, you're right, it's us. Well, it's only because you mean old Pegasus are making it snow like crazy! For the hundredth time, it's not us! We're not making it snow. It must be the unicorns. They're doing it with their freaky magic. <gasps> How dare you? Unlike you Pegasi ruffians, we unicorns would never stoop to such a thing. Come of them. <laughs> Excuse me, AJ, but we didn't travel all over Equestria searching for you to come home without you. Well, I didn't ask you to come looking for me. There was nothing to tell, and I am not going back to Ponyville. I don't care what she says. Applejack's not telling us something. Twilight's right. We gotta get her to spill the beans. What? She had beans? Uh, I told her I would snack eight. You ready to put your back into it, Applejack? Sure am, Miss Jubilee. Terrific. Come on in, girls. What are you all doing here? We're your cherry sorters. Shall we get started? Fine. <laughs> Red cherries go in one bin and yellow cherries go in the other. Simple as cherry pie. Uh, just one teensy thing to remember. Have fun! What are you five up to? Well, uh, you made working on a cherry orchard sound so delightful. Uh-huh. Well, just remember, no talking about Ponyville. Fine. Why don't you quit talking and get walking? Jay, how was Canterlot? Not talking about Ponyville, talking about Canterlot, totally different town. Canterlot was fine. Was the rodeo fun? Yes. Did you meet some nice ponies there? Some. Really? Did you see Wild Bull Hickok? Oh, what about Calamity Mae? Yes, I saw them both. And how did you meet Miss Jubilee? Um, well... Miss Jubilee had a cherry stand at the rodeo. Real good treats. Um, excuse me? Cherry winks, cherry cheesecake, cherry tarts. We struck up a conversation being orchard folk and all. So you told her about Sweet Apple Acres? Yes. Did you tell her why you weren't going back? No, because it was none of her business. Can you please slow down? Is it because I made it rain on you? 
you that one time? No! Help! Is it because you were insulted when I gave you that book on organized orchards? No! Is it because you were insulted when I insulted your hair? No, no, no! I'm not telling you why, so just... girls, we seem to be striking out. That's because we're playing too nice. Yes, desperate times do call for desperate measures. It's time to call in the big guns. Hey, Applejack, need some help? You promise not to ask me any questions? I promise. Have you ever had a cherry chonga? Oh, sorry, that was a question. That kind of question is fine, Pinky. No, I, I never had a cherry chonga. Well, no wonder, because I made it up myself. A cherry chonga is mashed up cherries in a tortilla that's deep fried. Cherry chonga, great name, huh? Oh, but maybe I should call it a chimichurri. Ooh, that's good too. Which do you think sounds better, cherry chonga or chimichurri? Or what if I combine them, chimichurri chonga? Oh, what sounds the funniest? I like funny words. One of my favorite funny words is kumquat. I didn't make that one up. I would work in a kumquat orchard just so I could say kumquat all day. Kumquat, kumquat, kumquat. Oh, I'm so worried. Is her face gonna stay that way? Oh. How is she, Doctor? She's going to be fine. Luckily, she has friends like you who got her over here in a jiffy. Uh, how long do I need to lie here? I've got things I need to do. Well, that all depends on your recovery, but I'd say a few days minimum. You guys have got to get me out of here. I'm going to climb the walls. Ooh, just like a spider. Did the crash somehow give her super duper spider powers? No, nor did it give her amazing healing powers. She needs to stay in bed for a few days. A few days? Might as well be a few months or a few years. It's not so bad, Rainbow Dash. I bet the chow in here is hooked looking good. And the hospital gowns, they match the curtains. And look, you have a roommate! Quest for the Sapphire Stone. This is the first story in the series. I own all of them. No thanks. I so don't read. I'm a world-class athlete. Reading's for eggheads like you, Twilight. <laughs> no offense, but I am not reading. It's undeniably, unquestionably, uncool. <laughs> is she serious? Who doesn't like to read a bang-up tale from time to time? Why, a good book is almost as magnificent as silk pajamas on a Sunday morning. <laughs> reading is for every pony, Rainbow Dash. Yeah, I love reading. And my head is even close to the shape of an egg. It's more the shape of an apple. Or maybe an orange, but a big orange. More like a grapefruit, really. All right, my little ponies. Rainbow Dash needs her rest. You'll have to come back tomorrow. I think you'd like Daring. She's a lot like you. Adventurous, fierce, and undeniably, unquestionably, unstoppable.
As Daring Dude trekked through the tropical jungle, the wet heat sapped her energy and slowed her every step. If only she could escape this oppressive atmosphere and fly up into the cool blue sky. But her crash landing in the jungle had injured her wing and she was grounded for a few days. A few days. It might as well be a few months or a few years. I'm right there with you, sister. The mosquitoes buzzed loudly. The macaws cried from the high trees. Yet, all of these distracting noises were not enough to cover the sound of the predators following her every step. Oh, come on, Miss Terrily. Ask him to be your very special soul pony. Oh my gosh, look! Big Mac? Yup. You have something stuck in your teeth. Oh, come on! Well, this has been... strange. Yup. I need to get going, but it's always great running into a good friend. Yup. wasn't romantic enough? Maybe it was too romantic. <sighs> Either way, we failed. Oh, there's gotta be something else we could... Oh! oh my goodness, I didn't even see you there. I'm so, so sorry. Oh, uh, it's okay, Twilight. It was an accident. I've just been reading the most fascinating book about hearts and hooves day. Did you know that this holiday got its start because of a love potion? <laughs> Did you say a love potion? That's right. It even has the recipe. I don't suppose we could borrow that book for a little while, do you? Of course you can. I have another book here that I think you'll... <laughs> Take a tuft of cloud. A bright rainbow's glow. Stir with a Pegasus feather. Hey! Fast, not slow. Serve to do ponies who aren't in the know. I feel kind of bad tricking my brother and Miss Cheerley this way. What's the problem? We all agree these two are perfect for one another. Yeah, they just need a little nudge. And what could make them happier than being together, right? Rad. Oh, oh, here they come. Hi, Miss Cheerily. Hello again, girls. Hello, Big Mac. Would you three like to tell us why it was so very important that we meet you here? Punch! Excuse me? Punch! We made punch. We were gonna set up a stand and try to sell it, but <laughs> we needed some pony to taste test it first. Yep. We thought you two would be perfect together. To test it. Together. So, uh, we'll just leave you two alone. Together. To test it. <laughs> I'm very sorry about this. I mentioned to the girls that I don't have a very special sum pony, and I believe they're putting us in these awkward situations because they've decided it should be you. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose we should just humor them for a moment. This punch does look delicious. Yep. I think they're gonna drink it. To good friends. They're drinking it! They're drinking it! <laughs> They're looking into each other's eyes! <laughs> They're, They're about, about to, to be, be in, in for a big surprise! Big Mac? Yup. Will you be my very special Sumpony? Yup. Special sun pony. Yeah. Aww. He's my.
my schmoopy doopy sweetie weedy pony pie. You're my schmoopy doopy sweetie weedy pony pie. Did he just say? You're my cutie patootie lovey dovey honey bunny. You're my hearty smarty smoochy woochy baby weedy. all you can do, huh? competition, so I'm going to have to take some points off. <sighs> Listen, turtle. Tortoise. Whatever. You've had your fun, but I think you and I both know who made the cut and who didn't. You didn't. Everything. You gave it your best shot. Maybe I've got a gold star sticker around here somewhere you can have, but seriously, go home. You're starting to creep me out. So, anyway, you're all outstanding competitors, but there can only be one of you who's number one. So the final tie-breaking mm. contest is going to be... Pause for dramatic effect. A race against me, through Ghastly Gorge. Dun dun dun. Kazuna. <sighs> Actually, Ghastly Gorge isn't scary. It's fun. <laughs> I've flown through it a million times myself, so uh, obviously I'll be at the front of the pack. But whichever of you make it across the finish line with me will have proven you can keep up with me and will have earned the honor and glory of getting to be my pet. Ready? Set, go!
What's with this crowd? Uh, thanks, every pony. It was really no big deal. To me, it was. You're my hero, Rainbow Dad. That Rainbow Dash sure is something. Something special. Words. And I bet modest is not one of them. No, but she is kind of awesome. Never fear, your friendly neighborhood Rainbow Dash is here. but I think this whole hero thing might be going to Rainbow Dash's head. You may be right, silly. And then I zoomed into the well. I knew it would be dark and dangerous, but I didn't let that stop me. Danger's my middle name, Rainbow Danger Dash. Thinking back on it, I acted pretty awesomely heroic that day. That day. Awesomely heroic that day and awesomely arrogant ever since. Mm-hmm. Hey, Applejack, how would you like to be immortalized as my friend? Immortal what? Are you taking notes? Yep, I've been hoof picked by Rainbow Dash herself to write her autobiography. Um, autobiographies are supposed to be written by the pony they are about? Maybe for your normal run-of-the-mill ponies. But I'm far too busy saving lives to stop and write. That's why I hired Spike as my ghostwriter. We gotta try something else. I've got it, brother of mine. Well done, Flam. We're at top of the chimney. Come on, Rainbow Dash, keep grinding. We don't have time for quality control if we want to win this thing. Ah! Get back, you! One bad apple spoils that bunch! Applejack, help me! There's no point in winning if we cheat. We'll just have to work harder. Come on, every pony. All right, then. Double time! <laughs> Jack. Thanks. <sighs> Integrity like that 
will always be rewarded. Flim and Splum win! What? We lost? Aw, oh, too bad, Apples. Guess you'll just have to find a new line of work that doesn't match your names quite so perfectly. Now, should we tear down all these tacky old buildings and put up new ones, brother? I don't see why not, brother. After all, this isn't Sweet Apple Acres anymore. How about Flim Flam Fields? I ought to press you into jerk sight! No, Rainbow Dash. A deal's a deal. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations to y'all. The cider business in Ponyville is yours. Come on, Apples. Let's go pack up our things. Fear not, every pony. There's more than enough cider to go around. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, every pony. Go on, y'all. It's okay. Drink up, Pony Bell! Down the hatch! Hey, can't get the taste off my tongue! Mine's got rocks in it. I wouldn't pay one cent for this drip. You wouldn't pay even one cent? No! How about two cups for one cent? No! Two bits for a barrel? No! <laughs> it looks like we've encountered a slight problem here in Ponyville. No pony wants our product. Next town? Next town. Let's go, Flam! Let's go, Flam! They're gone. That means Sweet Apple Acres is still in business. Plus, we can have high-quality Apple Family Cider. Because of this silly competition, we've made enough of our cider for the whole town. <laughs> Dear Princess Celestia, I wanted to share my thoughts with you. Ahem. <clears throat> I didn't learn anything. <laughs> I was right all along. If you take your time to do things the right way, your work will speak for itself. Sure, I could tell you I learned something about how my friends are always there to help me, and I can count on them no matter what. But truth is, I knew that already, too. 